All right. So I'm here with Daniel Dimer. Is that how you say it? Deemer. Yeah, Deemer. Deemer. That was yeah. my second guess. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel Deemer from the new movie Supercell, which is a super awesome movie, by the way. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Um, and I just want to hop right in and, you know, figure out um, how happy you are. Like, how excited are you that the movie's out now and what kind of drew you into doing this role about chasing tornadoes? Totally. Totally. Yeah, no, so, so very excited. Um, I mean, again, we, we shot this like two years ago now. So it's, it's been a process. Um, I, I did a lot of projects in 21 and it's, it's nice to finally have some stuff coming out now. And, and I, again, also super excited just for Jamie to finally have his kind of baby kind of out into the world. Um, I know he's so excited about it and, and all of us are as well. Um, yeah, just, yeah, it's, it's, it's been a great process and, and, and it's been really nice to kind of have it out now. And, yeah, no, how, how I came into it was, was again, was was mostly just like most auditions, just the team sent something over. Um, and this one ended up being one of the fastest probably processes from start to kind of filming that I've ever had. It was just a simple just tape. I, I think I sent in the, the scene with with um, Anne where, where we're kind of fighting over the book and um, finally being able to figure out who my dad is and sent that in. And um, just from that, uh, Jamie was like, hey, I'd love to, to meet up. And we did a Zoom very much like this. I think I was LA in LA at the time. And we we just connected really well. And I think I, I understood exactly where he was coming from. And and I think he luckily saw saw kind of the heart of William kind of in, in sort of how I was viewing everything and in, in, in me as well. And, and it was a really, really quick process, which was nice because normally it's exhausting and and stressful and anxiety inducing. This one this was, was, was a breeze um and it was just a really really cool opportunity it was my first time actually like leading a feature and amidst some some amazing names and, and incredible actors so yeah I was really really grateful yeah I mean that's so awesome I mean what was it like to work with you know like Alec Baldwin and Ski Ulrich and and Hecht I mean like it must have been just like the best learning experience for you as an actor yeah, yeah, completely. I mean, they're they're all genuinely. My experience of all of them was was amazing from start to finish. They they were so generous. Um, they they respected me and my, and my even though I'm a younger actor coming into it. Um, they gave me space to do my thing, but they were also just really welcoming and supportive. Um, they it was yeah very very intimidating though. I mean, uh, Alec I, I've seen since I was a kid, um, and Anne of course I've I've known about and then skeet through through Riverdale. Um, but it, it, all all three of them were were really welcoming. So it was the the nerves kind of settled pretty quickly. But especially my first scene with Alec was. I was, oh, I was, I was terrified. Um, <laughs> so I, 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 when I was watching back the, the movie for the first time, I was, I was watching the one scene that I did. I won't say which one, but I was, I was watching it to see, can you see the terror in my eyes? And I was like, oh no, it looks, it looks pretty good. So, okay. Yeah. I, I mean, I guess the point of your character, you know, chasing storms, you, you're supposed to look a little terrified. So, yeah. I mean, you, I mean, you can't really tell if you're scared of <laughs> Alec Baldwin or if you're actually scared of the storm, you know? <laughs> yeah, no, it's a good point. It's a good point for sure. Yeah. Um, I did talk to Jamie uh, about the movie last week and he was telling me um, how, you know, the CGI budget was just so small and that you guys were like actually out there and like legitimate, like just 60 mile an hour winds. Like, what was that like for you? It, it was amazing. I mean, again, you you know, when you're jumping onto a movie with with this kind of budget, um, what, what it typically looks like. And I think that's something that you're 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 hoping that you're going to be able to manipulate it well. And, and that was one of the first conversations I had with Jamie was that he was like, hey, I want to do as much of it in camera as possible. And that, that for me, I was I was super excited because I've done a, a lot of stuff on location. Luckily, not a ton of studio work, which and, and I love that space for me. It's, you, it feels so much more real. Um, it, it really feels like you're kind of going on an adventure rather than just filming something where the audience is going to be able to see it as an adventure. Um, so as an, as an actual acting experience, it's so much more immersive. Um, and I mean, again, the, it was the, the, the kind of Ritter fans that they had going where you said like these massive wins, it was so intense. And for, I, I love it because I'm the kind of guy where the scarier, the better, the adrenaline pumps. And as long as nobody gets hurt, then, then I'm, I'm happy. And um, and we we had really safe conditions and, and everybody was really kind of able, was able to explain everything ahead of time. And so you're able to jump in there without any fear, um, just like dust and sand blowing and then the kind of the rain towers. Um, yeah, I dreamt, dreamt of doing stuff like this. So uh, it, was, it was an amazing experience. I'm really, really glad that we were able to do it that way. Nice. Um, so I'm going to shift a little bit uh, from Supercell. So I did uh, see the movie, the half of it that's on Netflix um loved it 10 out of 10 love yeah. that movie <laughs> Thank you. um what was it like for that shift to go from like that kind of like heart-wrenching type 
the half of it movie to this action packed, like we're chasing tornadoes type thing. Like what kind of mindset were you in when you had to go through that shift? Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's a great question. I, again, so much of that, it, I mean, it, it, the, the, the funny thing about this, I think, especially when, at least for me, when I'm doing actors, you, you see one project and then a couple of years later, another project comes out and it feels like no time's passed in between, but I'm, I'm in my, like, er, er, I was in my early twenties when I first shot the half of it. And now just kind of enter, entering into my mid mid twenties now. And like those, those like years, just so much going on personally. And so it felt like an eternity in between. Um, and I, and I shot a, a, like a few, few projects as well, smaller roles, but just like in very different kinds of genres in between. So I, I get bored very, very easily. So I love to kind of go from one genre to the, to the next. And, and I'd been dreaming of doing a project like this kind of in that action world for a long time. Um, but shift shift wise, again, I, I approach it all very similarly. Um, I think that the main thing is like if the script, the relationships are clear enough, if, if they they are, then it's it usually that's the tangible thing that I kind of latch on to. And, and this was just very, very obvious of where Jamie kind of wanted the character to go um, and what the relationships are kind of guiding William and, and in, in both adventure, but also in his home life. And so he made it really easy where it's just like, okay, focus in on that. And that's going to carry the story. Um, especially when I kind of get um, into, into contact with Roy, Roy Cameron or, or Skeet. Um, he and I got along really well off the, off the top. And we kind of did a bit of adventuring before we actually shot, just to be able to get that relationship kind of grounded out. And, and that helped a ton. I was like, if I can have the relationship with the actor, that's even close to that, then that, okay, does all the work for you. And then you're just kind of sitting in there trying to be emotionally grounded and, and, and real for the camera so that you're not, putting on too much of a show you're just letting the show kind of guide the whole the whole process yeah i mean it helps to you know trust the people that you're working with when you're you know running around chasing tornadoes and getting Definitely. poured on with rain and all of that stuff <laughs> <laughs> um do you have any new upcoming projects that you can tell us about maybe yeah I'm, i don't know when they're going to come out so i, I apologize <laughs> for that ahead of time um but i, I shot this, this really beautiful indie with jk simmons and a, and a phenomenal um indie actor named philip ettinger and our, our, we, we just got into Atlanta Film Festival. Um, I'm not sure exactly if I'm supposed <laughs> to be talking about that yet, but I think that it's going to get announced very shortly. So <laughs> hopefully I don't get crucified. Um, but but that will be coming up in, in the next little bit. Um, and so very excited for that. And then I, I shot a feature with Liam Neeson late last year um, that I'm very excited about. That's completely different kind of 360 or 180 from everything else I've been doing. I get to play a Boston gangster. And so... That, that one I'm very excited about. And right now I've just been in the midst of shooting a, a limited series for Hulu. Um, and so that, that's been a, just been a whirlwind with, with Supercell coming out and being in the middle of shoots for that. It's been, been a little bit nuts, but um, I'm really excited for that one as well. And Riley Keough leads that one and she's, she's phenomenal. And uh, Lily Gladstone, I'm not sure if you, if you know her, but she, she plays my sister and she's one of the other leads in it and she's phenomenal as well. So it's a great cast and a really good producing team there as well. So yeah, a few different things. Um, I think most of them probably coming out late this year or, or early next, but um, yeah, excited for all of them. Oh man, that'll be so fun. Talk about acting ADHD. Yeah. <laughs> You're just going from rom-com to gangsters to tornadoes to all kinds of things, but it's good yeah. to have a, a big palette for all of those things. And oh, yeah. you're, uh, from what I've seen of your work, you're very versatile. And I think that you can pretty much pull off anything. Thank you so much. Really, that's that's, that's so kind of you. <laughs> <laughs> of course. I mean, I, I not to fangirl or anything, but you know, I, I am a big fan of yours. And I, when I saw you in Supercell, I was like, I know that guy. Yeah. I know that guy from that movie. And I love that movie. So automatically, I love that guy. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, um, no, the, the half of it again was was also just like, what what an incredible like kind of career starter. The, the cast on that and Alan is just phenomenal and, and, and very, very proud of what we, what we had with that as well. So, um, no, it's been, been really cool to see that kind of reach people and kind of just be something that I've, I've had a few interviews where people have been like, ah, that's where I know you from. And so, uh, yeah, that's, that's been awesome. Hey man, it's good to be recognized. I mean, I, I wouldn't be surprised if you were getting approached by DC or Marvel or somebody anytime soon. And if they ask my personal opinion, I will highly recommend you to either one of those franchises. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs>